What is cybersecurity and how does it work? In today's video, we are going to discuss what cybersecurity is and how it works. We will also look at the different types of cybersecurity and the risks that come with not having it in place. Finally, we will talk about some easy steps that you can take to start protecting yourself online. Subscribe to our channel if you want to stay safe online. Let's start. What is cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is the practice of defending computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from malicious attacks. It's also known as information technology security or electronic information security. The term applies in a variety of contexts, from business to mobile computing, and can be divided into a few common categories. Network security is the practice of securing a computer network from intruders, whether targeted attackers or opportunistic malware. Application security focuses on keeping software and devices free of threats. A compromised application could provide access to the data it's designed to protect. Successful security begins in the design stage, well before a program or device is deployed. Information security protects the integrity and privacy of data, both in storage and in transit. Operational security includes the processes and decisions for handling and protecting data assets. The permissions users have when accessing a network and the procedures that determine how and where data may be stored or shared all fall under this umbrella. Disaster recovery and business continuity define how an organization responds to a cybersecurity incident or any other event that causes the loss of operations or data. Disaster recovery policies dictate how the organization restores its operations and information to return to the same operating capacity as before the event. Business continuity is the plan the organization falls back on while trying to operate without certain resources. And user education addresses the most unpredictable cybersecurity factor, people. Anyone can accidentally introduce a virus to an otherwise secure system by failing to follow good security practices. Teaching users to delete suspicious email attachments, not plug in unidentified USB drives, and various other important lessons is vital for the security of any organization. The scale of the cyber threat. The global cyber threat continues to evolve at a rapid pace, with a rising number of data breaches each year. A report by Risk-Based Security revealed that a shocking 7.9 billion records have been exposed by data breaches in the first nine months of 2019 alone. This figure is more than double, 112%, the number of records exposed in the same period in 2018. Medical services, retailers and public entities experience the most breaches, with malicious criminals responsible for most incidents. Some of these sectors are more appealing to cyber criminals because they collect financial and medical data, but all businesses that use networks can be targeted for customer data, corporate espionage, or customer attacks. With the scale of the cyber threat set to continue to rise, the International Data Corporation predicts that worldwide spending on cybersecurity solutions will reach a massive $133.7 billion by 2022. Governments across the globe have responded to the rising cyber threat with guidance to help organizations implement effective cybersecurity practices. Types of Cyber Threats The threats countered by cybersecurity are threefold. 1. Cybercrime includes single actors or groups targeting systems for financial gain or to cause disruption. 2. Cyber attack often involves politically motivated information gathering. 3. Cyber terrorism is intended to undermine electronic systems to cause panic or fear. So, how do malicious actors gain control of computer systems? Here are some common methods used to threaten cybersecurity. Malware. Malware means malicious software. One of the most common cyber threats, malware is software that a cyber criminal or hacker has created to disrupt or damage a legitimate user's computer. Often spread via an unsolicited email attachment or legitimate looking download, malware may be used by cyber criminals to make money or in politically motivated cyber attacks. There are a number of different types of malware, including Virus, a self-replicating program that attaches itself to clean file and spreads throughout a computer system, infecting files with malicious code. Trojans, a type of malware that is disguised as legitimate software. Cyber criminals trick users into uploading Trojans onto their computer where they cause damage or collect data. 
Spyware, a program that secretly records what a user does so that cyber criminals can make use of this information. For example, spyware could capture credit card details. Ransomware, malware which locks down a user's files and data with the threat of erasing it unless a ransom is paid. Adware, advertising software which can be used to spread malware. Botnets, networks of malware infected computers which cyber criminals use to perform tasks online without the user's permission. SQL injection. In SQL, structured language query, injection is a type of cyber attack used to take control of and steal data from a database. Cyber criminals exploit vulnerabilities in data driven applications to insert malicious code into a database via a malicious SQL statement. This gives them access to the sensitive information contained in the database. Phishing Phishing is when cyber criminals target victims with emails that appear to be from a legitimate company asking for sensitive information. Phishing attacks are often used to dupe people into handing over credit card data and other personal information. Man in the middle attack a man-in-the-middle attack is a type of cyber threat where a cyber criminal intercepts communication between two individuals in order to steal data. For example, on an unsecure Wi-Fi network, an attacker could intercept data being passed from the victim's device and the network. Denial of service attack. A denial of service attack is where cyber criminals prevent a computer system from fulfilling legitimate requests by overwhelming the networks and servers with traffic. This renders the system unusable, preventing an organization from carrying out vital functions. Latest Cyber Threats What are the latest cyber threats that individuals and organizations need to guard against? Here are some of the most recent cyber threats that the UK, US, and Australian governments have reported on. Drydex Malware in December 2019, the U.S. Department of Justice DOJ, charged the leader of an organized cyber criminal group for their part in a global Drydex malware attack. This malicious campaign affected the public, government, infrastructure and business worldwide. Drydex is a financial trojan with a range of capabilities. Affecting victims since 2014, it infects computers though phishing emails or existing malware. Capable of stealing passwords, banking details and personal data which can be used in fraudulent transactions, it has caused massive financial losses amounting to hundreds of millions. In response to the Drydex attacks, the UK's National Cyber Security Centre advises the public to ensure devices are patched, antivirus is turned on and up-to-date and files are backed up. In case you want to take precautions for your business, there are several steps you can take, Develop an offensive mindset by practicing ethical hacking skills, upgrade the weak link of your infrastructure with sophisticated security tools, create awareness among employees about cyber crimes so they don't fall victim to them in future, and last but not the least, train employees on how to handle sensitive information. I hope you guys surely like and enjoy our video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.